Yo guys, back with another video. It's been quite a while since I did an unboxing, first impressions video of a fragrance. And um, I got something in the mail. Homage Par Homme by Lalique. The reason why I bought this and the reason why I was so excited to get it is that it has, uh, supposedly it has a very nice violet leaf note, which is very uh, resemblant to Fahrenheit's violet leaf uh, gasoline note, or cord rather. Um, so I'm pretty excited to try this because as you guys may or may not know Fahrenheit is my absolute favorite fragrance of all time and uh, I really just want to open this bad boy up for you guys and let you guys know what I think. I'm a huge fan of the House of La Lique. I love uh, Ankara Noir. I mean that's such a beautiful fragrance and I'm hoping this one will be of similar quality. So without further ado I'm going to open up the box, tear it up for you guys. I don't need a knife for this. And <laughs> shout out to Alan Alvarez. <laughs> and we got standard uh, paper, you know, that you get with every Fragrance Net order. And I did order this off of Fragrance Net. And coincidentally, um, looks like I got two samples here. Exceptional for men. I have like a bazillion of these. Bazillion. Is that even a number? I don't think so. And a fragrance that I just got. So if <laughs> you guys want the sample, uh, it's great actually. This is Mandarina Duck Black. I'll be doing a review of that very soon. But a uh, pretty decent sized sample of this actually. Um, really cool. Uh, I wish I'd known that. I would have tried it out before I bought it. But still, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? But uh, not bad. Not bad samples. Um, and here is the box. Homage à la home. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I'm not very good at pronouncing French words or anything. So, homage à la home. I think that's the way you pronounce it, by Lalique. This is the 3.3 ounce, and I'm going to open it up, tear plastic. I do not cut the plastic, because uh, frankly I don't care. Um, I'm not really a box collector or anything like that. I know a lot, of, well I do collect the boxes, but I don't really particularly care about boxes, but uh, this one does have a nice box. Uh, very good presentation so far. Let's open it up for you guys. Nice little uh, detail right there. Not bad. And here is the bottle. Wow. This is a big bottle. Man. Such a beautiful bottle. Look at that, guys. Look at the design. Amazing. Wow. Nice cap. It's like a really thick... It's bigger than I expected it to be. Uh, as you can see, and it comes with a nice little... Uh, booklet. Uh, never seen a designer house do that before. Uh, shows you, you know, all the different things or whatever. Uh, kind of cool. Very nice presentation from the House of Ali. And now on to what really matters. How does the juice smell? I am incredibly excited to smell this. Uh, you guys have no idea. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Alright, I sprayed it. Not a bad sprayer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, it does have a lot of violet leaf. Wow. And there's a lot of violet. Oh man, this is fucking gorgeous. Excuse my language, man. This is this is good stuff. Okay, it's got that gasoline vibe right now. And this is the opening, so I don't know how this is going to develop, but it does resemble Fahrenheit. But it's um slightly sweet. Yeah, it's, it's like a sweet version of Fahrenheit, but it's not overly sweet. Um, this is actually really, really good. If you like Fahrenheit and you're looking for a more, I guess you could say, modern uh, version of it, if uh, it's too harsh for you, this one isn't very harsh. This one is pretty um, soft, but it's not skin It's not skin soft. You know, it's, you know, about four or five sprays of this one and, you know, you'll be projecting, but um, I can't get over the bottle. Wow, and the scent is just phenomenal. Um, you get a little bit of citrus, uh, and you get a little bit of sweetness. I'm kind of getting like a tonka bean, and I love tonka bean, and I'm getting like a tonka bean vanilla kind of vibe. Maybe a little cinnamon, I don't know. Uh, if, I don't know what's in here, I just know that um, there's violet leaf and violet flower in here. Uh, but this is actually really good. For those of you that don't know, I paid about $30 for this. And that is actually a really, really great price for a fragrance like this. If you're looking for a cheaper version of uh, Fahrenheit, a cheaper alternative, 
this might be it and now it's starting to uh, yeah now the the violet leaf is starting to die down a little bit and it's starting to get a little bit of green uh, I'm starting to get like kind of like a vetiver something like a dirty vetiver or something green moss maybe this is really really good um, wow this is just as good as Ankara Noir I mean wow you guys need to try this this is just great stuff I'm really gonna enjoy wearing this this is up there with Fahrenheit without a doubt you need you need to get your hands on this this is great anyway um, well that's it for my unboxing uh, yeah I have nothing else to say about it it's it's a great fragrance so far I will be doing a review of this very soon anyway thank you guys for watching peace